Hey kid, it's me! Oh, wait, oops, oops. <laughs> Forgot I had that on. How are you, kid? Have you been worried about germs lately? Oh, have I ever? Me too! I've been super worried about germs. Germs, germs, germs. We don't want to catch them because they make us sick. Sick, I tell you. Super sick. Did you know that there are four different kinds of germs? You're only making me really extra nervous right now. Well, I mean, don't be nervous. Some germs are actually pretty good for you. I don't believe it. Oh, it's true. Some germs are perfectly fine in our bodies. It's the ones that aren't so good that we want to avoid. Like coronavirus. And the ones that cause colds. Uh, coronavirus. And the ones that cause the flu. Uh, coronavirus. I have a feeling you have something on your mind, Doug. Well, you know, I've been worried. We've been worried. We've all been a little bit worried, I have to admit. You have too? Yes, of course. Nobody wants anyone to get sick. We don't want to be sick. I don't want a wild bear to get sick. Oh, that would be terrible. And I don't want you to get sick, storyteller. Don't you worry, Duck. I am taking really good care of myself. And, and you're taking good care of us. Look at these awesome supplies that we have. Yeah, um, we'll talk about later how to properly wear them. Oh, I think they look pretty good. Yeah, I thought we did a really good job all by ourselves. I was pretty proud. I'm pretty proud too. Uh, shall we read? Because I think that this book is going to show us all about how to protect ourselves. Oh boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. W would you sit with me, Creep Bear? Doug, you know that I will. I am always here for you. <sniffs> oh, thank goodness I have such a good best friend. Yep. Especially when we feel a little bit nervous about stuff. It's good to have a good friend, good family, good storyteller count on. Now let's read and find out with a little bit of science here about germs and why they make us sick. 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 Hmm. Ooh, ooh, oh, look at those. Oh no. We're coming to get you. We're coming to get you. Go away. Uh, let's see here. Hurry or you'll be late for school. Rise and shine. Meow. He's sick as a dog. <gasps> Not as a dog. You wake up one morning, but you don't feel like getting out of bed. <sighs> you know what that's like, kid? We've all had those mornings, haven't we? Your arms and legs ache. Your head hurts. You have a fever and your throat is sore. Oh, I'm, I'm sick. You say, I must have caught a germ. Everyone knows that germs can make you sick. But not everyone knows how. But we're about to find out, aren't we? Germs are teeny tiny living things. They're far too small to see with your eyes alone. In fact, a line of 1,000 germs could fit across the top of a pencil. There are so many different kinds of germs, but the two that usually make you sick are bacteria and viruses. And look at that, they're looking at their pencil like, cool, wow, so many germs in such a little space. I'm telling you, we're surrounded by germs everywhere, everywhere, but they're not all bad. But the ones that are, we need to be careful. Under a microscope, some bacteria look like little round balls. Others look straight as rods. Still others look like a slinky. Doing, 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 doing. Viruses are far tinier, ooh, I'm gonna stay away from that one. Far tinier than bacteria. Some look like ugh, that thing like balls with spikes sticking out on all sides, like, you know what? Uh, others look like loaves of bread or like tadpoles. There are some that even look like metal screws with, with spider legs. Ooh, those would be creepy to see under a microscope. Germs such as bacteria and viruses are found everywhere. They're in the air you breathe, the food you eat, the water you drink, and everything you touch. They're even on your skin and in your body. You should wash your hands before you eat that. Oh, well, she could say that a little nicer. Although germs are all around, they do not always make you sick. Many germs are not harmful. See, I told you.
Also, your body keeps out harmful germs most of the time. Your skin blocks the germs. That's right. Thank goodness that we have good skin covering us. Now, as long as there are no cuts or scratches on your skin, the germs can't get in. Da -da 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 -da. You won't get in. Well, find a way. Ah, foiled again. Wow. That's why when you get scraped, like say on your knee when you're playing, that's why your mom or the nurse or somebody puts on that stuff on there that stains. You're like, ah! It's to keep the germs from going in there. Oh, now we're at a health fair. Your nose helps too. It's lined with tiny hairs. I don't know if you've noticed, but yep, they're in there. The hairs catch many of the germs you breathe in and then they push them back out. Shh, out you go. The inside of your mouth and throat is always wet and germs can get stuck there and they might not even go any farther than that. Ooh, it looks okay in there. Be very careful. That's right, you're handling a saw. Wow, young kids with a saw. Hmm. Yet some germs do slip in beyond your mouth and throat once in a while. Your friend has a cold. She sneezes. Achoo. Oh my goodness, hold on here. You cannot sneeze like that with your mouth wide open, kid. Oh, don't do that. It's gross. Oh no, because the germs go flying out. You breathe the air. Some of our germs may get into your lungs and then you look like the kid at the beginning of the book. So we go on. So now we're outdoors. You take a sip of your cousin's soda. Her germs are on the straw. A few of the germs may get into your stomach. You're riding a bike. You fall and you scrape your knee. Germs from the ground may get under your skin. But even when harmful bacteria and viruses get into your body, it doesn't mean you get sick. And that's because your body has ways to boom, 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 fight the germs. Oh, that's gonna have to be thoroughly cleaned. Indeed, it may sting a little. The white cells in your body, in your blood, go after any germs that sneak in. That's important for you to remember, especially when you go to medical school to become a doctor. The white blood cells are the ones that knock out the germs. Usually these cells kill the germs before they can do any harm. There we go, there, there's a white blood cell. There's a red blood cell. That's right, we get white and we get red. And the whites are the warriors. That's a good way to remember it. W, white for warrior. White blood cells eat harmful germs. Delicious. Now, antibodies look something like this. Oh, look at that, fascinating. You've probably heard about antibodies in the news. Your blood also has special proteins that attack germs and they're called antibodies. The white blood cells and antibodies don't always get rid of the germs though. That's the thing. Some germs stay in the body and then they'll make you sick. Look at that, she's teaching all her puppets. Just like she's having a medical kid time story time happening here. Now, what if the germs in your body are bacteria? They quickly start to multiply. Uh-oh, like a rabbit in a cage. Each one becomes two new bacteria, then they become four and so on. And in a few hours, there may be millions of bacteria in your body. So it's like one and then a two and then a three and then a four and then the... The bacteria give off waste products. And some of these wastes are poisons. The poisons can damage or kill the cells that make up your body. And when enough cells are harmed, that's when you feel sick. Yes, Mrs. Smith, I'm afraid Janie isn't feeling very well. Are you going home? Oh, that's when we feel like this. Now, you may have aches and pains, run a fever, or break out in a rash. It's all the body's ways of, of reacting to this thing happening inside your body. The rash, you know, the fever, it's your body's way of fighting and it's showing it on the outside. You may cough or sneeze or throw up. <gasps> These signs tell you that cells are being damaged or killed in your body. Oh no, poor kid. Oh no, it looks like he has the chicken pox. Ooh, I better not touch that. Don't wanna catch that. He looks like a leopard. Mm-hmm. I hope you don't get it, but boy, I hear that very itchy. I managed to get out of my childhood without getting chicken pox, and I hope you can too.
Now, some bacteria give off poisons that stay close to the bacteria. Bacteria in your mouth are like that. Mm -hmm. Their poison attacks only your teeth and cause cavities. Now, it doesn't go to other places in your body. Too many candy bars, Nancy. Uh-oh, Nancy. Earaches and boils on the skin can also be caused by bacteria whose poison stay in one place. So we're learning a lot here. This is deep stuff. Some bacteria goes everywhere, some stays in a specific area. Pretty interesting stuff, huh? Other bacteria gives off poisons that move around the body. One kind of bacteria lives in the lungs, but it gives off poisons that are carried around in the blood. And these bacteria may give you a headache or a sore stomach. The heart pumps the blood through the lungs into all parts of the body. That's right. Boom, 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 boom. There's the lungs, there's the heart, there's the arteries, there's the veins. Well, they're everywhere, really. How did you get so smart? Well, <laughs> that's obvious. He did a lot of kid time and story time. Still, other bacteria have poisons in their outer coats. When they touch different cells, their poisons hurt or destroy them. And as the cells die, uh-oh, you feel sick. Oh, you don't look too well there, Jeff. Nope, he sure doesn't. Even the birds stopped eating to notice that. Squirrel's happy though. That boy looks sick. Wow. Even the tiger noticed. Now, what if viruses get into your body? Viruses are different from bacteria. They don't give off poisons. Each virus forces its way into a body cell. It disappears inside and for a while, nothing seems to be happening. You've heard a lot about the coronavirus lately and how there's a waiting period and that's what's happening. You, it looks like nothing's happening and you can't even tell you're sick. And then, but it's, you know, doing stuff on the inside of your body. Now, for a while, nothing is happening. Then suddenly the virus is boom, break out of the cell. Hundreds of new viruses blah, 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 tumble out. Ooh, that sounds kind of scary. Uh, each virus finds another cell and then digs its way in and then these cells pop open and more viruses pour out and soon there are millions of viruses in your body. So here's a, so here's a cell and then there's a virus and then there's a virus going in and then there's a virus multiplying and then there's a virus breaking out and then it's over and over and over again. No wonder we feel sick. Mm -hmm. This book explains it very well. I feel like I'm going to apply to medical school after this. Maybe we can go to school together. Jenny will be out to play in a few days. Oh, there's Jenny. I guess she's getting over some germs that she caught. The viruses spread out and as they do, you feel worse and worse. Viruses will bring you colds, the flu, measles, mumps, chicken pox, and lots of other stuff. Now, bacteria and viruses can make you sick, but you usually begin to feel better after a day or two. That means your body has beaten back the germs. Now, I know that you've heard about people getting sick for a lot longer than that, and that can happen, but generally speaking, that's a couple of days and you feel better after like a regular cold, you know? At times though, you might feel really sick or you stay sick for a few more days. Then that's when your parents take you to see a doctor. Doctors try to find out which germs are making you sick. What hurts? They ask. Let's take a look. He's just not himself, doctor. Oh, we'll have him feeling fine again real soon. Now they might do a few things to check you out a little bit more. Perhaps they swab your throat with cotton. Then they send the cotton with germs onto a lab. Mm -hmm. Or they may take a few drops of blood from your fingertips or your arms. And that goes to a lab to be tested. The doctor needs this as soon as possible. See, what's happening is everybody is getting together to investigate exactly what kind of germ is making you feel bad. Is it because then they could use that information to make you feel better? Yeah, is that why? Because you want to get to the bad guy germ? That's exactly why. Excellent. Then go investigate. Yeah. So your doctor gets a report from the lab after it's investigated. It tells whether the germs are bacteria or viruses. If bacteria are making you sick, your doctor can usually prescribe some kind of a drug and the drug will either kill the bacteria or stop them from growing. Like there's the doctor calling in a prescription. There's a pharmacy. Yes, doctor, we'll have it ready to be picked up. Ah, yes. Solutions. 
Hi, it's okay, Sarah. This will only take a minute. Now, doctors do not have drugs yet to cure diseases caused by viruses, but they can give you shots to prevent some of those diseases. I do not like shots. I also am in the I don't like shots category. Well, here's the thing. What? Tell me. Well, nobody likes a shot. No. Even grown-ups? No, we only like that they keep you from getting sicker or keep you from getting something, but nobody likes getting shots. Oh, that makes me feel better. Do you think that grown-ups also get scared when they have to take shots? Sure, it hurts. Oh, see, it's not just me. No, it's me too. So, it's all of us really, so you don't have to feel ashamed about that. If you do get sick with a virus, the doctor may give you some medicine anyway. Now it won't cure you, but it might help you feel better or protect you against bacteria that might make you even sicker. Just swallow it down. That's so big, meow. Oh yeah, sometimes those pills, ugh, they're hard to swallow. But if they're gonna make you feel better, it's worth the effort. Now when germs make you sick, the doctor might tell you to stay in bed. Bed rest, oh, the bed's a mess. Somebody's having a good time in there. Uh, some bed rest makes it easier for your body to fight the germs. So do your so do eating and drinking healthy foods and drinks and reading kids on story times and listening to the radio and playing with your dolls and drawing and having your dog with you. Oh yeah, all that stuff makes you feel better. The kid wants to know when you're coming out. Ruff, 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 ruff. Now, once you are well, you want to stay that way. There are lots of ways to keep healthy. Oh, look at everybody's out and about and we're back at school. Come on, girls. Oh, everybody's. Now, let's see what. Oh, oh, we got eight rules for good health. Stay away from anyone with a cold or the flu. Well, that just makes perfect sense. Wash your hands with soap and water to get rid of germs. Eat good, healthful foods. Brush your teeth after meals, get plenty of rest, do some exercise every day. Now you may be wondering, what? But if I don't, I mean, why? Why does exercise help? Well, because it helps keep your body strong and healthy. And a strong, healthy body, what does it do? It fights off germs that much more effectively. Uh, let's see, number seven, visit your doctor and dentist regularly for checkups and eight, be sure to get the shots you need. Makes sense to me. And, and even though I do not like the shots, it makes sense. Yeah, it just makes sense. Yeah, I have learned a lot. I think I want to become a doctor. Ooh, you would make an excellent doctor. Yeah, I think so. And you know, maybe you could talk to kids and, and help them. Oh, like maybe a doctor that helps like a counselor? Yeah, I think that maybe that would be a good profession for you because you're so kind and understanding. Oh, that's so nice of you to say, Cree Bear. Yeah, well, you know, I'm just trying to think ahead to the future. And since we learned so much, maybe we could have an office together one day and then like I can help kids and you can help kids. Oh, I like the way you guys are thinking. But first, I do not want to get sick or anybody to get sick. These things worry me a great deal. I'm going to do some breathing exercises now so that I feel more relaxed and less nervous. But I did learn a lot and I'm going to go wash my paws and, and stuff like that. Thank you, Storyteller, for teaching me about germs, even though they make me kind of nervous. Yeah. And, and thank you for teaching me about self because maybe I'm going to grow up and become a doctor one day. Yeah. Wow. Maybe you're going to become a doctor one day and you can find cures for things that make people sick. Wouldn't that be amazing? Oh my goodness. I'd be so proud. I would say, look at that. My kid time story timer is a doctor now. But whatever you become, kid, I want you to be the very best at it. And I'm going to be proud of you for doing your best. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Uh huh, that's right. And always stay super smart. See you next time, Kate, on Kate Time Story Time, where we like to keep it clean. Mm -hmm.